Hello everyone! I'm so excited because it's that time of the year. It's the time to go through my entire photo card collection, which I've been actually really excited about because I just love being able to reflect on what I've collected over the year and where I am currently at with my collection and what like my future goals will be. So these are some of my favorite videos to film just because I can look back on all everything I've collected and it's just really fun for me. So I wanted to start off from my smallest collection to my biggest collection. So I'm going to have timestamps for every single collection. So if you're interested in a specific collection, you can go to my description and click on those timestamps. But if you're just here to watch the longer length film of seeing my entire photo card collection, you have come to the right place because I'll be starting now. I'm going to start off first with this Beyond D mini binder. This one just has one pocket pages. It says the butterfly effect and it has this kind of ginghamed pattern or I guess plaid, like a purple plaid color. I have a printed Polaroid for Yoon on the front even though she's not in here. It's just a cute picture so I put it on the front. So here is basically all of my dead collections, my dropped collections or anything I'm just no longer planning on collecting more thoroughly. It sits here, all of my favorite photo cards that I just wanted to hold on to as a memory. So I have this Jisoo photo card, which is actually kind of crazy. I've gotten down to just one Jisoo photo card at this point. It's crazy to me. But yes, I love my girl Jisoo. I just wasn't having that much fun collecting her photo cards, but I continue to listen to Blackpink, love them to bits, but this was my favorite one. It was actually the card that got me into collecting her at all, so love her to death. She's so cute. We have Young from Twice, which I love them. I also have Jungyun from Twice. I just kept these two pulls that I have from the Formula of Love albums. Anyways, next I have this Shion photo card, which to me is one of my favorite photo cards she has. I think it's one of her prettiest ones in this, like, gingham dress. She's really, really cute with eye makeup, too. I love stereotype. And then here we have this We Need Love era one, which this is where I decided to stop collecting Shion and also Seon, where Seon I kept a couple extra cards because I'm still quite attached to her collection, but yes, I kept my absolute favorite. So here's one from Stereotype. We have one from younglove.com. And then I have a couple from We Need Love because these are very recent, so I didn't really want to get rid of them. And I don't need to. Here I also have some leftover PCs from my Chaehyun collection for Kepler. Love Chaehyun, but I've just decided that Collecting one member for most groups is a better choice for me than collecting two or three. It just becomes too overwhelming when there's like multiple comebacks and stuff. It's much more manageable just to do one. So I may come back to those collections in the future, who knows? But I also was just thinking of perspective wise, as in like, what are the collections I want to keep for years to come? And I just wasn't really seeing myself maybe keeping them forever, like wanting to keep them. I say it very morbidly, but I'm like, these are. I, I was thinking kind of in the way of like which photo card collections do I want to be buried with me in my casket like which ones are my absolute favorites and these ones though I love these girlies I just didn't feel as attached to them like that way so this is what I have left of Chaehyun's collection but regardless I love my girl Chaehyun she's so cute and I'll still be supporting Kepler and her singing if she ends up doing anything else too. Here I have this Doha photo card from my One Fanatics album. It was a very lucky pull, so I'm very happy about that. You have an extra Yeonjun pull, extra Bomgyu from the deco kits, and then I just have the rest of Taehyun's deco kit sets. Yes. And I also have Taehyun's membership sets. I have this weird thing where I kind of, well, it's not weird. I love Taehyun, but I kind of I'm considering collecting more of his photo cards, but I'm not sure if it'll be anytime soon. But currently, that's what we got. And then I also have this circle card for Yoon because it doesn't fit where her new collection goes. So that's everything for my mini collection. I'm very happy that I've downsized quite a bit from my random boy and girl group collections. And now I just have this one binder. So I'm, I'm very happy with that change. My next collection is going to be my BTS group card collection. This was a new collection I decided to work on this year. I'm still pretty, 
um, I've still got a ways to go as far as collecting and you know, it's not a rush for me on if it's done or not, but I still really just like this format. I like the binder. This is also Beyond D. It's their two pocket binders. These ones are a little bit flimsy though, so I do add these like cardboard pieces to help them be a bit more sturdy. But yeah, I just added cardboard and these pieces of paper in the back. But here I have a couple of their um, OT7 inclusions. The bigger ones i love this wings ot7 picture so love that and then here is where my collection starts for the group cards i'll just kind of flip through them you'll be able to see which ones are kind of missing and yeah i've just been having a lot of fun with it i think bts group cards are super super adorable and cute and i just like to see how they have them like how the group is kind of oriented and organized in each picture and like what they decide to go for like here it's more like Namjoon is the center focus but in other ones it's more like Jungkook or somebody else so it's it's just really cute for me and then this is kind of a way for me to hit the collection bug of BTS without having to invest so much in even collecting just one me member of BTS because it can just get to be a lot and they have constant releases and merch I just didn't want to get caught all up in that so yeah, so far this has been really fun. Now the rest of this binder has just extra Namjoon PCs mostly and a few other members. But yeah, it's just what I have left of his collection because I had back in like probably earlier this year, like January, February, I still had a full collection of Namjoon and Jisoo, but both of those collections I decided to downsize to just keep a more curated set of photo cards. And it makes me really happy to have this instead um, because at the end of the day, these were my favorite cards I owned anyway, so I don't feel like I'm really missing anything that I really, really loved. So yeah, I'm, I'm really happy that I have all these things here. So that's it for the BTS group card binder. Now in a similar binder, I have another collection that has gone through a bit of downsizing and changes, and that is my Yoon collection, which I also have some postcards for her. I have her Stadium one as well as the So Bad debut just group photo. I just put them in there to kind of decorate a little bit. Um, here we have Yoon's photo cards. I'm pretty sure I have all of her album cards. I actually really like this setup for Yoon. I feel like it's much more manageable for me um, and visually appealing. I, I really like being able to see two cards at a time and not just so many. And I feel like I can appreciate each card that I have of hers. And I feel like it kind of fits their vibe, like the, the colors and like the cutesy little mini binder kind of vibe. I think it's really cute. And I like that you can add things and you don't have to like switch the pages out. That's my favorite part about this. I'm pretty much up to date with her Korean album cards. I'm just missing one, I think, from We Need Love. And then for her pobs, I just keep what I like as well as like some extra special cards that were in the sets that don't kind of um, go along with keeping two cards from the same album together. Because this was an extra, I kind of just put it on a page together as a pop page, even though it's the special card. And then here I have two from younglove.com. And then here is where I would be putting the extra album card that I haven't collected from their most recent comeback. And this is the light stick card and then I've also kept her season greetings and her membership kit I think I'm going to try to keep collecting this type of item but as far as other merch items for Stacy and specifically Yoon because she's going to be the only person I continue to fully collect um, I'm probably just going to stick with those and who knows if I even like really try to get the season greetings or the next membership kit I'm not a hundred percent sure I don't know what that is like there's some damage on the sleeve or something sorry i get distracted but anyways i really like how cute this is and then i also decided to keep her bigger polaroids from young love and i think that's a really cute way to display them as well and i have these are just freebies actually from a concert when i went to kcon for stacy it was super super fun and it was amazing even if you were kind of farther back the venue was really small so it was really cool to interact with them and then I actually have an extra Seon postcard I just didn't know where to put it so she ended up here but she's not 
exactly supposed to stay here forever, but I'm really happy that I've been able to kind of decide how I'm collecting Stacy for the future because I really, really love their music. And this was such a good year for me as far as like loving everything that they came out with and being able to see them in, in person was really, really cool. So I continue to love Stacy. I just will be collecting a little bit less. And that just makes me happier this way. Now, I'm also, <laughs> as far as instead of collecting less but enlarging a collection, I have my Subin collection, which I really like this little binder I kind of customized for it. That was originally a TXT planner, and I made these sleeves for it, but it's kind of actually similar to these other two with the two pockets. I just cut these out myself, so they're kind of like, you know, DIY. But yes, I have most of his other cards. I think I'm just missing two album cards, and then there's one pob that I want to get. But everything else it should be up to date, so I'm missing his VR card and his U card. Which this U one, I keep almost getting and then I just miss it every time so I think soon I'm just gonna have to buy it <laughs> and then here are some pubs and non-album items that I was gifted or I bought or I've just acquired through collecting other txt ot5 type things so yes that is everything for Subin and then I have a couple extra slots this page will probably be used for the next comeback on whatever sets I don't plan to collect for ot5 I'll just be collecting for Subin. And Hina Kai, obviously, I'll be collecting all of his cards plus a bunch of pops. Okay, moving on from there, I have a new... Well, this isn't even a new binder. This is a binder I've used for another collection before, but I am currently using this to hold my Sujin weekly collection. So I actually should have printed out a Polaroid. I didn't even think about that. I kind of forgot about it. But I might also just get an extra photo card like a pop that I really like and put in the front so I think that's why I didn't end up printing it right at the moment. These are the Beyond D um, pocket, four pocket little binders. These ones don't have rings or anything so there's just a finite amount of pages and you can really just hold photo cards but I really liked this to just hold my Sujin weekly photo cards because hers are so cute and with like the new comebacks and the fact that Jiyoon won't be part of weekly there's not going to be anything to collect for Jiyoon, so I do plan on buying at least one copy, probably two, and I'll probably just end up trading my extra cards for Sujin equivalents and just do that that way. Recently, the past times I've just done two cards per era, I've considered maybe collecting her full cards again, but this last comeback for play game awake they had 12 individual cards and I don't really want to buy those so maybe I'll do all of the original sets and then for this one I won't do the full like I'll just do a four pocket page and call it a day or I'll just keep it the same as it's always been but all I can say is I miss weekly so much and I really really want them to have a comeback so I hope earlier in the next year we'll be able to have a weekly comeback speaking of weekly <laughs> And unfortunately, X Weekly, but we have my Jiyoon collection, which is honestly one of the collections that makes me the happiness, most content. Like, it's just such a nice collection for me. It's been a long time I've been working on it, and it's just a really, like, happy place for me. So I have all of her We Are photo cards, as well as some pops right here, and then on the back. Here we have We Can and the We Can pops. Then we have We Play. And the We Play Pops. <laughs> and obviously, there's there's some on the back here too. But this is not all the Pops that Ji Yoon ever had. There was some eras that had like 20, 30, 40 Pops. So I did not collect all of them. I just chose some of my favorites. I originally actually had even more Pops. But I did downsize. This was before she left the group. But I downsized a bit the year before she left the group. Um, so in like 2021. To something a bit more concise. More curated. And I'm really happy with how things are right now. I'm very close to being done by my standards as far as her collection, so it's really nice to be able to look at a collection that is really complete for me. I don't have a lot of collections like that, so it's really cool to be able to own one, even though it makes me sad that Jiyoon is no longer participating in weekly activities. It still makes me really happy to still have her cards and collect her 
And I just keep up with her on Instagram and stuff because she's posting on there and she's going to school. I hope the best for her, obviously. And these are just like extra inclusions for Jiyoon. There are some of these. I didn't get like every single one. I just kind of have what I have. And then here I have the birthday merch from last year and the Sujin Jiyoon unit, which is literally what caused me to even start collecting Sujin as well. And then I have the, what is this? The season greetings. And then, obviously, because Jiyoon will not be in season greetings for the future, I'm planning on collecting her two, we, no, her two Tower Records pops, but, like, the Polaroid style ones. So, I was going to get the one from, what is it, from We Play and Play Game Holiday. So, once I get those two, I'll be done with all of her photo cards. It'll be so amazing. And then here, I am literally just missing one postcard from play game awake so her more like spacey outfit and then i have the tickets from play game holiday but yeah that is the only other inclusion i'm missing so i'm so close to being done with jiyoon's collection and i just love her binder and how everything's set up it's like a perfect little memory box of jiyoon as an idol so it makes me really happy of course if jiyoon ever does um, come out with her own content or join some, you know, just become an active idol again. I'll totally support her because I love her. <laughs> but yeah, for now, I just love having her collection as it is and it makes me really happy and it'll probably stay this way for many years to come. But yeah, I also have this extra weekend pop as the front cover. You were wondering, I don't really remember which one it was though. Okay, from there, we're going to look at my Bakeyo collection, which is a very new collection I started working on. I've actually been buying newest albums since like a long time back. I mean, long for me. I started collecting in 2020, so I've pretty much been buying newest albums since then. Um, not a lot because I, I don't buy... Well, first of all, I just don't have a lot of K-pop stores around me. But what was so exciting this year is that he did have a solo debut. The sad part also was that newest banded, which was really sad. And I freaking hate Pletus, but I'm glad that he was able to stay and, you know, promote his own solo album. I really love it. The music is so good. And the photo cards were so adorable. So I do plan on finishing the rest of these sets. This is what I've done so far. And I just love Baekhyo. He's one of my favorite idols ever. He's so adorable and he's just really, really talented. He kind of has that, like, sweet vibe even though he looks a little bit more like manly he's really really nice and he's just really cute too so I loved to be able to collect for this comeback and then now I just have some of his other inclusions from other albums that I had previously that I did pull that were Baekhyo I put here so this is also a pre-order benefit from the special version this is a Ren bookmark so that's technically not Baekhyo but I was just for a background and then here I have one of the photo book photo cards from Newest. This is like an earlier photo card. And then back here I have at least one photo card of each member of Newest. Unfortunately, I don't have a solo card of JR, so I just have the unit. But I wanted something to represent the whole of Newest together. So I'm really happy that I have these cards so that I can keep them as like kind of a memory. I'm planning this next year to work more on my Bakio collection. But I won't be collecting probably every card. I probably won't. Unless I become very ambitious. But currently I just have a select photo card in Pob's wish list. So I'll be working on that more in the next year. And hopefully if they don't do too many cards for his solos, I'll keep up with those solos. But I'm not really planning on collecting. Like he has a season greetings and stuff like that. I don't think I'll be collecting that kind of stuff. Okay, next here I have my Lucy collection. Specifically Guan Gil from Lucy. He is my favorite member from Lucy. They are a K band. If you don't know them, please check them out because they're so nice. Anyways, this was actually a freebie I got from somebody, which is like a picture of an official, um, like winners card. But we just they gave me a little freebie of that, so I have that in there. And I have this little deco frame is actually official too, and it says Guan Gil on the side. It's so cute. So that's my front cover, and then here I just have my filler and this is where we start which this year was so nice for collecting Guan Gil. I think I'm completely up to date besides one card which is very hard to find anyway so this is where we're at. So for 
panorama there were no photo cards it just came with a collectible pin so i have starting from snooze which i was so happy to be able to finally complete his snooze cards this year i have inside with the group card these are the snooze like mini photo cards then here i have the what is it gotcha photo card as well as the three pobs they did for this round up till that point that was great and then i also have his qr code as well as this is a photo book from his concerts well like their concert um photo book so i traded to get this one and then here i have the group card for snooze as well as childhood which is their most recent comeback this year which luckily i am completely up to date on now so you can see everything that i i wanted to collect so here i have also blue from last year the very end of the year they came out with blue and i love the album photo cards and then here i just have some of the pobs like i said for this era there were a lot more pobs than the last era so for gotcha there were three pobs this time around there were like 20 plus or something so i don't even remember exactly how many there were but there were a lot so i decided to downsize some of them and just keep this many i mean there's still a lot here it's really like quite a lot and then i have his merch id card as well as his three lucky draws for blue this is the era i decided for the next one i'm just gonna collect my favorite pobs that i see come up and so for inside i did exactly that we have his two photo cards and then here are some of his different pop rounds as well as a merch card right here so all of these are really really cute i love this one the choco pop and the little blowing bubblegum pop are really really cute they're recent additions so it's still really nice to see them added into my collection i also like that on the other side he's like blowing a kiss those ones are really cute too and then here are just some bigger inclusions that were in the album so i have for blue and the group card and then i have the this from the concert oh i also have his film strip i could have stored this better but currently this is where his in his childhood film strip is and then here is the snooze group postcard which is one of my favorites they look so cute this styling was totally my favorite thing this is what got me into lucy was this era so and there's the lucy island map so that's everything for lucy like i said i think currently this is kind of how i plan to collect in the future is just join group orders for pobs i like or buy them after the fact that the group orders happen and just collect my absolute favorite pops and then his obviously his album cards and album inclusions so that's everything for that one now we can move into one of my bigger collections my female alt bahie hie i love her so much anyways on the front we have her um tower records polaroid so there's that and i really like this printed paper i think this looks cute anyways i've changed her collection about like six times recently because i had a bit of a crisis mid-year about how much i wanted to collect for her but i've i've made a decision now and i feel like this is how i'll be moving forward just because with the amount of collections i have i try to keep it curated for a lot of them unless it's my absolute ult which Kai is really the only person that i truly try to collect everything for anybody else i just feel like it's it's just too much especially with how pobs are these days where there's so many but either way i'm super happy to have the collection how it is so this is my bahie collection my hie collection for now and how things will be in the future so here we have debut first impact these cards are so cute i love it and then here we have du blast which i have her clear cards in the corners here and then here i have two pobs in the corners unfortunately this card is lost in the mail but it should be you know coming soon so we have all of that there and then i have the start of we fresh which i actually did trade for like two more things um but i'm sending them after the holidays so those haven't been sent out yet but hopefully i think i have the other i have the other version of this card and i have at least one of these circle cards i think so i still need to trade for like two more photo cards and a circle card but that's not too bad for me i also want to get like another pop to put here but i haven't decided which one 
Here I have a couple of her Japanese cards, so I have a little bit of that done. And then as far as pops for the future, I'm just going to be collecting a six pocket page for each era. So here we have for First Impact, we have for um, Dublast, which I also have this Polaroid on the back. I decided to keep these because they're all like really cute and I loved this outfit she was in. But I decided to keep this one too because I've been looking for this Lemon Blast version for so long. But it's just really overpriced or not available. So I'm keeping this on the back because I still want to try to collect the other one. But um, eventually I might switch out which one of these I keep. But I'm definitely keeping at least one in the future. But I like how it looks now. And then here I have Make Star and K-Town for You for this one. And I want to collect some of the Lucky Draws. So like half of them. From last era well we fresh current era technically and then here i have her second pcs which i know they came out with another one which i do want to try to find and then here i have her the star magazine photo cards which are so cute and i have her membership kit photo card here are her postcards that side and then these i am still looking for trades for so yes i'm still looking for these inclusions but that is everything for Bahie and I really really love how everything looks now I just love collecting Hie but it can get a little bit stressful when there are so many pops so now that I'm not worried about getting pops anymore really and just kind of like collecting them after the fact it's much less stressful and it's actually fun <laughs> so I'm really excited for whenever Kepler has their next comeback because that's going to be awesome Okay, and then next I'm going to start off with my first Hinen Kai binder. I have two of these three ringed bigger craft binders. First, I wanted to show my little deco. I don't know if you guys can see it that well, but I was a little bit proud of it because I'm not that good at deco, but I tried. Then here I have some bigger inclusions, so the Hour Photo Book, um like film strip thing my sister pulled it and she just decided to give it to me so thank you i have the magic little post-it notebook and then here i have his postcards for blue hour these look so cute in here like this was one of my favorite things that i did this year was making these binders for Hyunin Kai. i also added some subin because i do collect Subin here and there, and I just wanted to keep them in a place that wasn't going to have them damaged. These cards I've kind of done quite a bit too, so they've been cut and a little bit um, altered. So this is not the original state of these ones, but I just, I don't really have the willpower to like recollect them or rebuy them. So I'm just going to keep them like this for now. But maybe in the future I'd rebuy them, not cut or whatever, and just put them in here. And then here I have his little standees from Fighter Escape, his message cards, the AR cards. These are really cute. And then one of the postcards from Dream Chapter Eternity. Really like that. And then one of my favorite additions to my collection, which is my Dream Chapter Eternity Subin and Kai Sukai Lucky Draw Polaroid. This was this is kind of a hard thing to find nowadays. It's so so cute and Eternity is my favorite era for TXT thus far, so it was really great to be able to get that. And then here I have two of Kunin Kai's broadcast cards. So one of them is from Crown, and then one of these is from Blue Hour era as well. Mini sewed. And then here are the kind of like random bigger postcards. I have Hunin Kai and the OT5 postcard for the membership kit. And then here I have his bigger postcards from his birthday. So here these are. These are really cute. I love the little doodles on the back, like the pictures. That's really cute. I love the orange as well. And then next I have my second little paper binder for my mini cards. This is for all of my mini card collection goes which hopefully in this next year i'll be able to be work on a little bit more and catch up on some of the sets that i have yet to work on but there's no rush in collecting so here we have star and magic starting there and here's eternity with the group card 
And then here are the lenticulars from Thursday's Child and also the postcard. So I really like these pockets because you can have two cards as well as a postcard. So that's how I decided to display it with Hyunin-Kai and Subin and then Hyunin-Kai and Subin on the back. And here I have almost all of them complete. I believe it's just for the last version. Yes. I think this is the mess version or the hate version. I always kind of mix them up. I think it's mess. But um, yeah, this one I have been unable to find a trade or buy Subins for a decent price. So I have yet to do that. And then here I have their tier little mini postcards. And I had an extra Yeonjun, so that's where he is. And there's an extra Hanin Kai on the back. So here are the Dream X Together cards. I have none of them because I was not a TXT fan at this in this era, so I did not buy them like current at the time. Shine X Together was the first time I started collecting these, so I do have a good amount of them done, but there's still a lot of the like merch type items that are not here. And then we have Act Boy, which I really like as well. We have Moa X together. Those are nice. Try to flip through them kind of quick. And then we have Act Love Sick, which I still have not worked on at all. I feel like the best way is to usually just buy a set of like all of them together because a lot of people will sell them in sets, but I just haven't gone looking for them recently and I haven't been trying to buy too many photo cards, so. I have a couple of these merch cards that I got from friends who were selling them, so there's those. And then here I have the Lightstick cards, the Hybe Insight little postcard mini photo cards, and then my favorite mini photo cards of the year, which were the birthday ones for Hina and Kai, so I have all of those. Plus, this is not a photo card, I just made it as a filler because there was only... Well, there was only 11 cards, so it would have left like an empty space. So I just cut that out of some packaging that was in his stuff. But yes, that's everything for his mini card collection. I feel like if they come out with more mini cards, which they probably will for like concert and merchant stuff, I'm going to have to probably get a new binder just because this one is feeling a bit full. I mean, I still think it could fit some, but I might have to now have three of these, which is funny because speaking of these, I also already have a third Hyunin Kai binder like this, a Biondi A5 wide binder. Currently his Korean album binder plus the OT5 sets for a Korean album that I collect. This one is like very at capacity. I don't think it'd be wise to like add more than like one page or something. So the next comeback I'm going to be setting up in a new binder and I might do a video on that like setting up fillers for the new comeback but here you go we're starting off with dream chapter magic for the IDs with Hyunin Kai dream chapter eternity which I got to collect more of these my biggest goal for this next year is to collect all of his eternity things so hopefully I can do that or at least get some progress done with it but they are a little bit more expensive, so we'll, we will see, depending on if they have like a tour again or something like that, I may not be willing to spend so much on photo cards and will want to save up for a live experience. But here's Blue Hour photo cards. Oh, I already passed the OT5 set. I didn't even talk about this, but super happy to have that. And then some of his non-album plus Blue Hour Lucky Draws, which are some of my favorite cards <laughs> in his like whole collection of any card he has. They're really, really cute. So here we have the start of freeze, which I have this, the star seeker cards for an OT5 set plus the target card. And then here I have the world set, which this was definitely my favorite. So I collected OT5 for this one. Here I have world, what is it? Boy and you is the middle. And then here we have an extra of his star seeker card. And these are all of his non-album items, so I'll just list them so you guys can know, but if anyone has any questions on any type of inclusion that I may not list the name of, you can ask me down below if you're curious of what it is. So this was Apple Music, this is Weavers, this is YZY Round 1, 2, and 3, or with fans, this is Shopee, this is Naver, this is Lazada, this is Yes24, and these are the Lucky Draws for this era, so... 
these are all the lucky draws that he had these are so cute round one and two of both mtu power station and sound wave the first and second rounds i'm not sure which order i feel like i did actually put this in the correct order but now i can't remember so it's one of those but these are matching up to the stores i'm pretty sure then here i have their star seeker cards plus the ot5 group card and then i have the together escape version card super cute all of Union Kai's stuff then i'll start listing we have yzy round one two we have apple music weavers japan weavers another star seeker card interpark aladdin on the back here i think this is ums or umj lazada music korea and then this is once again power station mtu Soundwave, but i'm not really sure which one i think this is mtu so i want to say this power station Soundwave maybe but that could be wrong and then these were these are all well this is the hype insight lucky draw and then these two were i think this Peace sign one is the Weavers version, and this is the UMS or UMJ lucky draw. These ones do not have sleeves, but luckily they fit like just perfectly in these binders. And then here we have the comeback from this year, which was Thursday's Child, which I loved. I still listen to all the time. And I have the OT5 set for the jewel cases, as well as some of their stickers. I think this is Huning Kai. I want to say this is Yeonjun Subin, but it could be other way. And then here I have the Hate version photo card set, which I think was one of their best sets for sure. So I got OT5 of that. And then here I have four more of Hinokai's album cards, and I'm still working on getting his non-album cards, but I have, uh, I'll try to list the ones that I do have. So I have his Weavers, this is UMS, Sayonara, Target. Weavers Japan, Naver, Aladdin. This was Naver, but for the jewel cases. And then this is, okay, Soundwave MTU Power Station. That's probably how my other ones were set up too, I'm guessing. And so this is Soundwave MTU and Power Station. And I have Power Station of him in this little chair, but I'm super happy with all this stuff. So this is up to. Thursday Child. I've also been kind of counting PCs. This is a separate thing though. I might start incorporating it, but I like to kind of write down where I'm at when I add a lot of PCs at once, but I haven't done it since, what is this, August? So I don't really know his total amount of, like the total amount of PCs in this binder at this point. And then I also have this little deco keys chain here. So that has some new as well. Now we'll move on to his very last binder, which is his Japanese and merch slash any other random stuff that Hinokai has. So I have this cute Chaotic Wonderland keychain that I got from pre-orders, and here we can just start getting into it. Here we have his drama photo cards. I really, really love these ones. I was able to buy these this year too. Super, super cute. I have the still streaming ot5 set which was the first thing i really started collecting for txt so it's very nostalgic for me i bought so many jewel cases to try to pull ot5 here i have his still dreaming set and then here is chaotic wonderland which i was actually able to kind of keep up with and have quite a bit of it done i'm only missing of things that i want to collect i'm only missing his two lucky draws which are a bit more like expensive harder to find so they're more of a like slow collecting thing and then as for good boy gone bad i still have quite a bit to collect still but the cards that i do have are super cute and i'm excited to work more on these in the new year here i have this set from the it was polaroids that came in the memories the second memories and then this is just a freebie that i thought looked nice with all these because it was the same concept here I have all three of his memory photo cards, which I'm so happy to be like up to date with this. I was never even sure if I was going to try to collect these. It was so lucky that they randomly restocked the first memories and I was able to pull a member and then trade for Hunan Kai. So that was 
awesome and I just love this is one of my favorite cards ever of Heenan Kais he looks so cute here I have his shine together photo cards I kind of divided some of these pages that could technically be put together and then here we have his season greetings photo cards which now for their most recent season greetings I think there's three different photo cards so I'll have to add another page but this is what I have of his old versions from 2020, 2021, and 2022. This one's the double-sided one. And then here are his membership photo cards that I have. These ones I think are US ones. This was from 2022. This I'm not sure. I think 2020 or 2021. I'm not 100% sure on this one. And then this was his Japanese renewal card, which is so cute. The, this whole set for them was adorable because they're all wearing their Moa Diary outfits, so I'm happy I ha have that. And then I have all of Heenan Kai's Deco Cake cards plus his, like, unique special card. This one is the one I pulled, which I'm so happy I didn't have to trade. I just pulled Heenan Kai. And then here are his photo book cards from the second, what is this, the third hour photo book? Yes. So the first one I think didn't come with photo cards, it came with postcards, and the second one did, but they were units. And this one I have two because this one is kind of damaged quite a bit, so I got a second one this year, which is nice. And then this is where I plan to put the summer photo, photo book cards. There were like four each for each member, so I was going to do like a spread with that. And then here are the, what are these, four oin? I never can tell if it's 4-0-I-N, something like that. But either way, these cards were cute, so I collected some of them. I haven't collected all of them, but I might in the future if I want to. And then here is, like, Moa Campus card, wallet card. This was an ID set, so I got Heenan Kai's. And then I have his Harper's Bazaar photo card from the magazine. That was from like a few months ago. It's really, really cute. And then this is my concert memory page. So I have, well, I also have my MOA card here, but I have some freebies that people gave me. This was all from Lollapalooza. So I went to Lollapalooza. I was not able to get tickets for any show because I live kind of far from any of the dates. And so Lollapalooza was the closest I could go besides and it wasn't super expensive to get tickets because it was a flat rate type thing where to get tickets for the Chicago show, they were just selling for really expensive. So next time around, I think I'll be more prepared to spend a bit more, hopefully. But yeah, concerts have gotten really pricey now. So I was glad, though, that I was able to go to Lollapalooza. It was really fun. And getting like these freebies and stuff was nice. Some of my friends went to the other shows, so I was given these for the L.A shows from my friend who made freebies for their show which is really cute but yes this is everything in my photo card collection that's pretty much everything i have like five or six photo cards well okay maybe like 10 photo cards that are not here that are my like display photo cards so i don't i'm probably just not going to show you guys them you know what, I'm just going to grab them real quick so you guys can see super quickly. Okay, I wanted to grab these really quickly so you could just see what's on my shelves. I'm going to have a video anyways of that, but then you guys can see more or less what like my complete collection is. But here I have this Dom June Polaroid from Wings. I have this Lucky Draw from B. Or not B, this is from Butter, sorry. I have an extra Guan Gil album pull that I have displayed. I have this... I think this is oh I really don't this might be jump up entertainment for first impact then this is round two of YZY from fighter escape then Bakio this is one of his an extra weavers pull that I wasn't able to trade so I just use it as a display photo card this is with drama for Ji Yoon this one's so cute I love this card and then here I have this Jisoo Polaroid from Born Pink, which I just pulled, so I was really happy to have this. So technically I actually have two Jisoo photo cards. I kind of forgot I had this one displayed. But yes, this is my full collection, and I'm really happy with everything that I have currently, and I'm happy to keep working on the collections that I have decided to focus on. Oh, sorry, I also have one more. I have this um, Soul 
P1 Harmony photo card that I just have like displayed over here. I kind of forgot about this too, but I have him. But yes, thank you everyone for watching and for listening and enjoying my content and watching my videos. I mean, if you're a new viewer because Christmas time, I literally watch a hundred of these. I watch so many. So if you're just here to watch this, thank you so much for the views. But yeah, for anyone who has been here more than this one time, thank you so much for supporting my channel and watching my videos because I've always kind of wanted to post videos more often and doing it around something that I'm really passionate, excited about, which is photo card collecting. It's just really fun and I love hearing like commentary and your guys' opinions on how I store my collection and like the ideas you think are good or what you guys think of how it looks. Obviously, I care about my opinion the most because it's just my stuff and I'm the one who looks at it all day, but I love how this channel has kind of been like a video diary of my collection and my collecting habits too and how I've switched things up and changed things around and kind of created a more curated collection as things go. And obviously, we constantly change as people. I may completely change my collection by next year, but it was so fun showing everything that I've had such a fun time and had such a good amount of, like, I've spent so much time working and collecting all of these things. It's just amazing to share it with people and have people, like, share the same interests. Just because not everyone around me wants to hear me talk about k-pop all the time so this is kind of my input this is my space where i can just say whatever i want i mean say whatever i feel about my collection and be excited and happy for things when other people are going to be like why <laughs> why so much energy about this but it's just really really special to me so thank you to everyone um i'll be posting more videos in the new year um, I'd like to get, like, a more solid schedule together, so hopefully I'll be able to do that for you guys and maybe give you some more creative content, and if you guys have any suggestions or ideas of things that you want down below, you can let me know, and I'll try to be able to deliver, and obviously if you have any questions about any parts of my collection and want to see anything, um, or wanted me to answer any questions about it, you can let me know down below. I always look at the comments and try to answer to the best of my ability. Um, if you want, I can link some of this stuff down below. It's hard because a lot of this stuff is, like, not always in stock as far as, like, the binders and materials, those type of things. But I can try to make a list of all of the materials that I use, like, the binders that you saw in this video, as well as the sleeves, maybe. And I honestly plan to make a full video about every single binder and sleeve thing but anyways thank you so much have a happy new year enjoy your holiday hopefully you guys are able to rest or maybe spend time with your family or friends or just have a little bit of time to yourself but thank you so much have a great night and have a great next year bye